What's happening, my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackdr40.com and shreddedafter40.com. In today's video, we're gonna talk about can you drink alcohol and still get shredded after 40? If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I am a huge fan of craft beers. I love visiting little microbreweries, enjoying their beverages, enjoying their great food, uh, and I have still been able to gain muscle, get lean, stay lean, and live my life to the fullest. Now the topic of today's video is all thanks to a great question that was brought up by a fellow subscriber of the Jacked After 40 Life channel. He mentioned that he just recently turned 40 and he's in a cutting phase right now, trying to get shredded after 40 and he's been enjoying four to six, I think spiked seltzers or something throughout the day. Uh, and it, he's tracking his calories. He knows that each of those is 100 calories. He's eating solid nutrition throughout the day. Uh, he hasn't, hasn't noticed any impact that the alcohol has had on his fat loss process, progress as well as his training throughout the day. So he just wanted to know my insights if it's just like compared to a lot of the bro knowledge is out there. So he's basically uh, avoid all the alcohol. I, I don't necessarily think that's bro advice out there. Um, I think in general, in the fitness industry, it's like moderate alcohol intake is, is kind of the, the norm out there. And, and there's a lot of talk about the negative consequences of consuming alcohol when it comes to transforming your physique. So let's first take a look at some of those negative consequences that you'll often see when you come across articles or other YouTube videos on the topic of consuming alcohol and trying to get shredded after 40. So number one is that drinking alcohol can lower your testosterone levels. This is not bro info. We're talking like legitimate science out there. Uh, the other thing is it can have a negative impact on your REM sleep. So a lot of people who drink alcohol later on at, at night, or, winding down at the end of the day, that's what, that's why they tend to help them relax and sometimes it helps them fall asleep faster. Trouble is, the quality of your sleep isn't going to be as good as it could be if you didn't drink the alcohol. So um, REM sleep is incredibly important for our recovery, it's incredibly important for our memory, um, so our mindset, our, our mental health, um, there's a big impact of alcohol and REM sleep. So that's one reason to kind of try to avoid it at night. And again, based on science, this is not bro info. And drinking alcohol can also blunt fat loss. And when you're drinking alcohol, I guess the good thing is that most of those calories are not going to be stored. Your body is not very efficient at storing alcohol as fat. So what your body wants to do, it's a toxin in your body and it wants to get it out of your system as quickly as possible. So while it's doing that, if you're consuming food at the same time, most of that food is going to get stored, stored at fat, as fat. So if you're just drinking alcohol on its own, you haven't had any food around your alcohol intake, you're not gonna have to worry too, too much. Uh, the alcohol that you're going to be drinking is basically going to get burnt off and you don't have to worry too much about fat storage or anything like that. So that is one positive there. But what I have noticed um, is that when I'm drinking alcohol, I typically personally eat and I typically eat more than I normally would. It's like my decision making when I am drinking alcohol is way worse. It's inhibited grossly. Like there's a lot of times if I have two drinks, first of all, I am a lightweight, <laughs> literally, <laughs> like I only weigh about 150 pounds. So um, alcohol is gonna hit me a little bit harder. But I also, even although I enjoy my craft beers, I'm not a huge drinker. I probably have about two to four drinks a week at most. I mean, some weeks I don't drink, some weeks I might have a little bit more, um, but I just, more than two drinks, I get quite tipsy, get a good buzz on, and I do not make the best decisions. That's usually when I'm looking through the fridge, I'm looking through the cupboards, and it's not looking for like vegetables and lean proteins or anything. It's like, do I have any chips or chocolate or cookies? What the heck do I have in my house I can stuff in my face? And I typically don't stop when I'm satisfied. I just keep eating. So. If I'm drinking alcohol while pigging out like that, most of that food, a lot of that food is going to get stored as fat. So that is not a good thing. But if you're someone who just likes to drink, like one of my workout partners, Rick, we go out on a Friday night with the guys, he's just drinking. I'm drinking and pigging out. Like he's not an eater. Like he, there could be tons of food all around him. He could care less. He just wants to drink and have some fun. Uh, he doesn't want to have those foods. So if you're like that, chances are you don't have to worry all that much about the foods being stored as fat. But here's the thing, a lot of what you hear in regards to alcohol not being good to consume while trying to transform your body, get shredded after 40, build muscle after 40, has a lot to do with the 
like over consumption of alcohol. So if you're consuming like more than I'd say four to six uh, drinks per day. Now you're only consuming the 100 calorie drinks. Chances are the alcohol content is a little bit lower in that. But if I was to consume like four to six of these each and every day, I'm, I'd be testing that upper limit there uh, in regards to the impact that it would have on blunting fat loss, on decreasing my testosterone levels, uh, everything that I mentioned earlier. I mean, I'm, I'm sure a drink or two is probably going to still have a negative impact on your REM sleep, but in regards to fat loss in general, the fat burning process and your testosterone levels and even your performance in the gym, having one to two drinks isn't going to have a much of a negative impact at all, if any, at all, uh, on your results, on your progress there. And a recent study came out just a year ago that showed it wasn't in regards to weight training. I think it was more uh, like high intensity interval training, like kind of cardio type quick training, like explosive. I think like plyometric type training. And they found like one to do two drinks really didn't have a negative impact on their performance at all. It didn't have a negative impact on building muscle. Um, so really chances are, and I think even in the past, whatever studies there have been on fat loss, drinking in moderation, one to two drinks a day, um, is not going to have a negative impact on your fat burning efforts. It, if it's going to have any kind of impact, it's going to be very minute. But again, this is going to be very individual. First of all, it's going to depend on what you're drinking. I think one of these drinks is over 200 calories. You're consuming a 100 calorie drink. So that's going to have a bit of a difference. And also how we respond to alcohol. Like if you're like me and having two drinks has you looking through the cupboards and you're picking out, you eat more than you should be eating then that's not a good thing. If it's really disrupting your sleep, if it's causing you to wake up in the middle of the night and pee, you're not getting good quality sleep, that's affecting your recovery, that's affecting your mood, your, your mental focus, your clarity, that's not a good thing either. So it's going to be very individual for how much alcohol you should consume and whether or not you should consume alcohol when trying to get shredded after 40. Now, the great thing with you, my friend, is that you are tracking your calories, you're hitting your caloric target, you're consuming good quality, whole nutrient rich foods, the rest of your calories, and then you're allotting 400 to 600 calories a day for your alcohol drinks. Now, if that helps you stick with this plan and enjoy your lifestyle, you feel like you're living your life to the fullest, you're getting the results that you expect to get, um, like you are getting right now, I mean, all the power to you. There's no reason to change it um, unless of course, you find that it is affecting your sleep. You want to get better quality sleep. Um, and the other reason is, I mean, yeah, like although you may be performing well and you're feeling great, substituting those 400 to 600 calories for nutrient rich quality foods instead, would you be better off? Yes. I, I, I don't think there's any argument that physically you're probably going to be a better functioning human being if you are consuming that. But mentally, again, like if that's not, I mean, you may be, if, if you swapped out your drinks for those nutrient rich meals, foods instead, and you end up being miserable and all you're thinking about is, man, I wish I could have a drink right now and having a drink would really help me feel my best and calm me at the end of the day. And, and yeah, it just suits you and pardon me from all this drinking here. <laughs> um, again, it's going to be individual. If it suits you, all the power to you. Again, what matters most is that shit, you're feeling good. You're performing well with your workouts. You're experiencing the progress that you desire. Who cares what any of the articles suggest that whether you should avoid it or not, it's all individual. That's the case with everything across the board when it comes to diet and training. There's gonna be a lot of articles and, and workout plans and YouTube videos out there that say certain things are the, are the best, best approach. The best approach is what's going to work best for you. What's going to allow you to make this a lifestyle, something that you can stick with for the long term. Um, do I think personally that four to six drinks every single day is maybe a little bit more than you should be consuming. Probably, I, I would, if you were a client of mine, I'd try to get you to reduce that just a little bit and get a little bit more whole natural foods in there. But again, um, it had to be a deeper conversation between you and I. 
um, about what kind of impact that would have on your likelihood to be to continue being consistent and disciplined with this lifestyle, feeling your best, again, still looking your best, living your life to the fullest. So the bottom line is that alcohol in moderation isn't going to impact your training performance. It's not going to impact your fat burning efforts. It's not going to impact your muscle building efforts. It's when you get excessive and you're drinking like eight, 10, 12 drinks each and every day that is going to have a negative impact on your testosterone levels for sure. Definitely going to have an impact on your sleep. Definitely going to have an impact on your fat burning efforts, muscle building efforts. Uh, and that is a whole lot of calories that you have to make up for. So for me personally, when I'm trying to get shredded up to 40, my calorie intake is about 2000 to 2100. If I was like yourself and consuming 400 to 600 calories per day in alcohol consumption, I would be making sure that I wasn't eating around that time. I was just enjoying those beverages. Um, and that still gives me like 1,400, 1,500 calories to play with where I would get the whole natural nutrient rich foods. Chances are you're a bigger bro than me, probably got more muscle than me. Um, so that gives you even more calories to play around when, when it comes to consuming whole natural nutrient rich foods. So again, go with what suits your lifestyle best knowing that consuming alcohol in moderation is still going to allow you to get shredded after 40. I hope you enjoyed today's video and watching me drink this delicious IPA, Walkerville, Geronimo, my local hometown here. We've got so many great microbreweries around here and this is just about done. I finished this delicious beer while recording this video. I, this is a fun way to record a video. I actually really enjoyed myself, enjoyed recording this video and having a delicious drink at the same time. So if you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, do me a favor and share it with them. But more than anything, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Do you enjoy alcohol while trying to get shredded after 40, trying to get jacked after 40, build muscle after 40? Let me know how many drinks you typically consume in a week. What is your drink of choice as well? Most of the time I am drinking a delicious craft beer, but I also enjoy like a Rattler on a nice warm summer day out there. Those are a little lower in alcohol percentage. They're a little sweeter, more sugar in those, which are dangerous because that is change there. Those sugars could get stored as fat um, when drinking those. But uh, I also enjoy a good rum. I, I love Captain Morgan Spice rum. That's a good choice of mine. I love the coffee whiskeys on, pardon me, the beer is getting to me. <laughs> the coffee whiskey uh, is a great Wolfhead uh, distillery here uh, locally. It has a great, great um, coffee whiskey as well as a banana caramel vodka. Those are just great on ice on the rocks. I love watching the sunset drinking one of those. But again, for myself, I'm looking at like two to four drinks on average for the most part per week. I do enjoy it. I really do enjoy my drinks, whether I am trying to get shredded after 40, trying to build muscle after 40. I typically work it into my overall lifestyle. Now during the January mini cut, I did not uh, drink any alcohol during that time. So it's just 28 days without a drink. Uh, no big deal there. I think if you're doing a small fat loss phase, it never hurts to just kind of try to cut that out and focus on consuming whole nutrient rich foods during that time. A lot of times for most people, it's going to leave you feeling more satiated um, and make it a little bit easier to stick with uh, your overall nutrition plan. But if having a few drinks, a couple of drinks each and every day or throughout the week helps you stick with your diet plan, who am I to, to argue with that? All right, that is enough rambling. Clearly alcohol is getting to me and I'm becoming very, very talkative here. So again, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it. Hope you have yourself an amazing day. Before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. I'll catch you in the next video. Talk to you later.